Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Kamran Mir, and today we will learn how you can manage your journal, which is based on WordPress. So let us start. Let me share my screen. So first of all, um, we will open the journal. For example, this is HJHS, which is a WordPress based journal. So first of all, we will log in to the WordPress. Once we are logged in uh, in the WordPress, uh, it will show you that you are logged in. So we will go to WP admin panel. <clears throat> now in this panel, uh, there is a section of post. When you click on the post, it will show you all the articles which I have already updated. For example, you want to add a new article and under a new year so that is being managed in categories so you will click on the categories and you will you can see the categories of 2019 and volume one for example i want to launch a new category which is 2020 i will make the slug also 2020 parent its parent is nothing so i will just save it and within 2020 i will get another category which is volume number two or maybe issue number two whatever you want to give and you can give any slug which is like url friendly issue number two and i will make the parent category of its parent category as 2020 so that's why uh, so that it can go underneath the year of 2020 so the volume number two but in this category there is no article so now i will go again to all post so what I will do, I will open any other previous article so that I can copy all the format which is being currently used in all the articles. So what I will do, I will click the article which is already published. So it will be easy to copy the formatting of existing article. Once it is open, you can click on this dotted three dots line and click on code editor or either you can do is control shift alt m once you do this you will see the coding of this uh, article so you click on this screen click select all select copy and go back to the uh, this screen post screen and i will add a new post once i will add a new post <coughs> so i will give the title of my paper and in this section I will paste the all code now I will go back to the visual editor it will show me the abstract I will you can change the abstract copy and paste uh, you can replace the abstract to the latest one and in this code you can also preview it that this is the preview and you can also change in this for example this is the name of the author for example within the paragraph you can separate the multiple authors name uh, using coma and because we have you we are using the existing format so it it is already uh, like uh, the icons are already there you what we just need to do we need to replace the urls of this a tag a means the hyperlink so the hyperlink of this pdf link this is uh, going to the old pdf so what i will do i will uh, i can open the journal in a new tab so what i can do is i can go to the media section and add a new pdf so you can select the pdf and you can upload it right away once it is uploaded, for example, this PDF is uploaded. So you can click on the PDF and you can copy the link of this PDF and go back to the old tab and replace this hyperlink, which is within the A tag. This A tag is starting tag and Harif, we can replace this URL to whatever uh, file we want to link it. This is the uh, code for the image of PDF. Again, this is the closing of that. PDF again starting this is the link for mp3 
currently it is hashed. So once I upload the MP3 file, so I can copy and paste the URL of this file. So once it is done, you are done with this. What else you want to do? You have to do is go on the document of this post and click the relevant category under which you want to uh, file this post and within the tags add the keywords for example anything education health whatever uh, neck pain you can separate the keywords with comma and give multiple keywords so that it is easy for others to search that uh, thing and within the featured image you can select any image in general you, you can see uh, i have already uploaded some featured images which is reflecting each article for example this one or any other one this one so whatever image you want to relate with that article you can upload that image in this set featured image and upload file so it will be reflected on your website so let us go back and let me delete this post even i can delete the category as well so let me delete as well this category currently uh, there is no article within this category so i can delete this one so i can also delete this one so this was all about how you can add your uh, post and uh, how you can edit your categories the other thing is uh, in appearance and widgets this is the section where you can update the overall look of your uh, art uh, your journal you can see there are in multiple there are multiple widgets there are the right sidebar and in within the right sidebar there is a text where it is written the issn so once you get the eissn you can just click here and you can type even you can shift enter and type eissn and type the number whatever whenever you will get the eissn or any other information you can put and just click save so it will be it will save all the information on the website similarly the uh, image of the volume one so you can replace this image with your volume two and you can change it and you can hyperlink give the hyperlink of any other page of volume two accordingly similarly there's a map showing of cloud showing the other option was you want to put any other link custom links uh, within this so you can uh, even what you can do is uh, you can also display the pages yes if you want to show all the pages you can just click add widget to the right sidebar so it is already it is added within below the keyword let me drag it to the above map so once i have added so if you will go to the screen of where it is this one and i refresh this so what will happen what will uh, it has inserted all the pages under this volume so if you want only few links what you what you can do is we can just remove exclude it or page title separate it to by comma so we can um, uh, do uh, like put the page IDs here, which we don't want to display. Or the other option is, let us delete this one. We can also put a custom HTML on the right sidebar and put this under the map. And we can give any title, for example, uh, quick links. And you want to give a link, for example, a RF. This will this uh, uh, within this uh, double quotes we will give the link. We'll close the a tag and we will say submit. Uh, let us see uh, from the other tab. I'm going to do appearance and menu. So we can see the our existing menu. For example, there is a uh, link for submit manus manuscript. So here is a hype URL of this. So we will copy this URL and we will 
type submit submit menu script and we'll paste the hyperlink here and using the break tab you can insert a new line and we can copy this a tag so that you can give another link and for example another link you want to give is manuscript preparation so what you will do is just open the link of manuscript preparation so this is the url of the manuscript preparation and you will replace the hyperlink this and you will type manuscript pre preparation let us delete this one save this and done now if you click open the website and refresh your website so what you will see so there are two quick links when you click on this it will take you to the submit manuscript and manuscript preparation so that is it how you can manage your sidebars you can put anything within the foot footer or the left sidebar is empty because the theme is uh, in this pattern there is a right sidebar only so you can add anything you can move up and down things you can drag it you can add in footer so this is the basic of your posts and categories and if you want to change anything in the theme you can go to the themes and you can click on the customize button once you will click on the customize button it will open up a more detailed page where you can update so many other things as well so just like the site identity you can rename it if you want to make it centered you can change the colors and there are so many other things so layout so it is highly recommended so you don't disturb such thing unless it is very necessary to change anything so uh, it can also disturb the appearance of your website if you change uh, change the settings so that is it from my side thank you very much for watching this video and just like a lot of this.